Imagine a disease so insidious it strikes silently, weaving its way through the brain with a slow burn that culminates in a chilling end. This is Kuru. It all began with an ancient ritual of consuming the brains of the past as a form of homage. Yet, this age-old practice unknowingly invited a nightmare. It kicks off with a stumble, a tremor, then laughter that's anything but joyous. It's the disease hijacking the brain in the most unsettling way. The culprit behind this horror? These tiny things called prions. Picture proteins, which usually help us out, going haywire and making a mess of your mind. And they got around through the very act meant to honor those who were no longer with us. Ironic, right? People would be walking around okay for years, and then suddenly, they're caught in a ghastly grip where their own bodies just don't respond. It's like you're not in charge anymore, and there's nothing you can do about it. This baffled brains for ages. When they pieced it together, it blew the lid off what we thought we knew about infectious diseases. Kuru taught us a harsh lesson. Sometimes our ways of showing respect can have hidden dangers, and we need to be really careful about the unseen threats lurking around us. Now, Kuru's pretty much a tale of the past, but it's one of those stories that stick with us in medicine. It's a stark reminder to always stay curious, keep questioning, and never underestimate the power of the microscopic world.